welcome Pisces and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journeys for week commencing Monday the 28th of November through to Sunday the 4th of December 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the twin flames of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, well, thank you, spiritual lesson. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, thank you, trust. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the twin flames of Pisces, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys? Ah, now, do you know something, Pisces? I am, um, that rejection card that came out in reverse, I don't normally take reversals when it comes to um, the twin flame messages, but do you know something? It feels as if you were rejected by your twin flame. It's as if the person has now got a better understanding of the connection okay um at the time that they rejected you the rejection was actually divine uh protection okay but as it came out in reverse it very very much feels as if they've um had a turnaround okay i feel that whoever you're connecting with whatever the rejection was that i feel that I'm going to leave it in reverse. I feel that it's now safe to trust this situation. The spiritual lesson, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I do pick up, Pisces, that whoever you are connected with, um, you're quite psychically connected, okay? Um, your card is all about intimacy, intuition and compassion and i feel that you're being guided to know that if you uh gave too much to the connection okay um divine spirit universe was protecting you by um this person rejecting you yeah it, it was for your own good but i feel that there's a turnaround it's almost as if there was a spiritual lesson that happened for many of you with regards to that re rejection. But now, as we're entering this week, you can trust this situation. And I feel that many of you are being guided to um, apply compassion to self, okay, to um, the person that you're connected with, and definitely follow your intuition. The intimacy that I am picking up, Pisces, is that the two of you are very, very psychically connected, okay? I feel as if this person may need more time to figure out the spiritual lesson that you brought to them, but they are definitely come. They got to do it because I've, I'm seeing victory. Um, they may have regretted rejecting you. Okay, um, I'm going to put it in reverse. They may have rejected. Um, they sorry. They may have um, regretted rejecting you, but they may still have to understand what the spiritual lesson was. Um, that you was bringing them. I feel like this person is being enlightened with understanding, um, illuminated, so to speak, of actually the depth of this connection. That's why you can definitely trust the situation. So if this person is contacting you or like, I don't know, maybe they put you in friend zone, Put you at arm's length, okay? Um, I feel that they are definitely um, coming out victorious this week of really understanding. So give it time. Be patient. Wow, look at that. I cannot even make it up. 11-11. So this person is definitely your twin flame. 
okay and the uh, yellow heart is representing the solar plexus so you're being guided that you can do this you can trust the situation the action that is required is to be on the lookout for signs guiding the way so it feels as if like i said you being in their life awoken and activated them and it feels as if they're only beginning to understand that now hence why the rejection that they rejected you okay which was your for your protection and their protection is now it's like it's complete the let the spiritual lesson of that rejection has been learnt okay so awakenings, activations are at hand. Be on the lookout for signs guiding the way. Like I said, many of you, I do pick up this real psychic connection between the two of you. So not only look out for signs, synchronicities, but look out for simple things like, I don't know, um, like you, you may read something in a book that might just jump out at you you may watch something on the television or a particular song might come out on the radio or something that will be pertinent to you so not only look out for the spiritual signs and synchronicities pisces and follow your intuition to what that is making you feel what message it's giving you but also um the signs and synchronicities that divine spirit universe literally drop into our reality so a book a song um a, a poster on a billboard something somebody says to you this is the time for you to be really aware okay this week be really aware and vigilant of signs and synchronicities because for many of you it's going to come in very different shapes and forms so you're definitely being guided to rely upon your intuition this week those of you that are still in contact with this person you may get that intuition that feeling that this person i wouldn't say that they want to be intimate but they may be a little bit more engaging this week all right let's continue but yeah, you are both definitely being awoken and activated to this connection. And it's something that you can trust. Wow, look at that. Two, three, four. Your twin is leveling up their energy in order to match yours and will face you when the time is right. Yeah. Like I said, I felt that whoever you're connecting with, they are being activated with understanding of this connection. But I do feel they haven't quite grasped what the spiritual lesson that you have brought to them. They are levelling up. And I feel that they're going to do it because I see victory. The two of you may be from different backgrounds or different locations, by the way. I'm also picking up that. Um, but they are definitely levelling up to something that I feel that you may have already known or be or been aware of through your intuition that this person was your twin flame. This is definitely for the Pisces that know who their twin flame is or have encountered them. Oh, that's a lot of cards, but they're saying take it. Oh, wow, look at that. 0330, your crown chakra. This is a green light from your angels. The answer is yes. Yes, you can trust this situation. Yes, the rejection or resistance, this person may have been a runner, has turned a 360. Yes, this was a spiritual lesson for you, all right? And then 1717, 17, put your time and energy into creative pursuits that will provide an overall sense of empowerment. So for many of you, this rejection that happened, it feels as if it happened some time ago, if I'm being honest, Pisces. This week is um, an activation, an awakening to the connection. But this is a time that you're being guided to absolutely be very, very, very vigilant 
because you're getting like I feel that you're getting psychically information that the person that your twin flame has been activated so I feel that you're being guided with the red heart, which is your root chakra, um, to build your foundation so that it's strong, so that as you go through this twin flame journey with this person, um, whatever comes at you, it doesn't shake your foundation, which is the foundation that the rest of your chakra system sits on, okay? Nothing should be able to waver that, move that. That should be solid, firm. And Divine Spirit Universe is coming in saying to put your time and energy into creative stuff as a way of strengthening your root chakra, your foundation. Because for many of you, with the your intuition, you may be the leader. You may be, you may have been the first person to have identified that this person was your twin flame the moment that you met them it feels as if it was instant it took your twin flame a little bit of time to recognize this connection and they are yeah but i do feel that they are still to kind of discover the spiritual lesson that you brought them and then we've got 747, again, action. Begin to take your talents to the next level. Your dream job can become a main source of income. So again, um, Pisces, those of you that I'm connecting with, I pick up that real psychic energy between you and your twin flame. Many of you, your intuition is very, very strong. You may be um, psychic yourself or you may be into... Um, the spiritual arts in some way, okay? I feel that as you take time to put energy into creative pursuits, okay? Um, many of you, that could be the creation of um, a spiritual art in some way, whether it is Reiki, healing, tarot, mediumship, clairvoyancy, um, it can become your main source of income. So I feel that you're being guided to pursue that, to listen to Divine Spirit Universe. Rather than putting a lot of time into this energy, into the energy of your twin flame, it feels as if you're being guided to put the time into yourself. This person is coming around and I feel that you're being guided <coughs> to definitely to apply some compassion uh, to the situation because they perhaps weren't at the same spiritual level as you when you encountered them. All right, Pisces, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Pisces. It also enables you to get those notifications of when you are, of when I am um, uploading new messages, sorry. Um, and of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys? Week commencing Monday the 28th of November through to Sunday the 4th of December 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good? And for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? 
on there, Twin Flame. Thank you. So mask. So whoever you are connecting with, I feel that um, they may have been wearing a mask. At the time that they rejected you, it feels as if they weren't being true to themselves. They were wearing a mask. They weren't being totally honest and transparent to you. I feel that in the period once they had rejected you, it feels as if they did have some regret. OK, they may have put on a brave face, but they were really um, bound, feeling quite victimized. So they may have rejected you through, I don't know, outside influences or feeling as if they couldn't level up to you because your twin flame is now leveling their energy in order to match you. So they may have felt that they weren't leveled with you in some shape, form or another, and they felt bound. They felt victimized. They felt as if they were either bound to their current life or if you are in different countries, you may um, be from different backgrounds, different cultures, maybe even different religions. They may have felt bound to that in some shape, form or another, which made them feel victimized, felt, 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 feel like a victim. Yeah, it was it, it was it's because they weren't really honest with how they were feeling about you. I feel both of you are having a breakthrough with self-worth. Yeah, Pisces, you definitely, um, I feel um, as you put your time and energy into creative pursuits, like I said, for some of you, it could be the spiritual arts in some shape, form or another to build your foundation so that any curveballs that happen on this twin flame journey with your person, um, it's not going to knock you for six again. OK, um, the spiritual lesson awoken your self-worth 100 percent. OK, I feel that your person is still discovering their self-worth, this victim mentality. They are definitely breaking out of that. But I do feel that they are still to understand what the spiritual lesson that you brought to them, but they are definitely being illuminated with a better understanding. And it feels as if that understanding is coming directly from divine spirit universe. They may even be getting signs and synchronicities that the connection with you is a big fat yes. With balancing the scales, I feel that many of you, this card re definitely reminds me of Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. But I feel that this person is eventually coming towards you to balance out this connection. Um, simply because I feel that there's a soul contract. Somebody is coming definitely to speak their truth. OK, this person may come in rushing in this week. OK, Um understanding your self-worth, understanding your value, okay, having a full 360 after this rejection, wanting to balance things out because I feel that they are getting signs, synchronicities, being awoken to this connection, that there is a soul contract, okay. I feel that this energy is definitely them coming towards you, but you see, you may have already known and contemplation, yeah. So many of you may take some time out to really think about the lesson that this person brought you. You may be picking up their energy of them contemplating. You remember I was saying that there's a, a, a real psychic connection between the two of you? Pisces, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that these two cards are in relation to this person. It's like this person has taken time to really think about you, about the connection and what it means to them. And for many of you, with your intuition... And the intimacy that you have with this person in terms of, I feel like you're spiritually very sensitive to one another. That's the intimacy I'm picking up. That if you listen to your intuition, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, I feel that many of you 
will pick up spiritually that this person has been contemplating this connection, wanting to balance things out. Let's get some clarifiers. It's like through this time of contemplation, they're understanding the connection. For some of you, it could be your energy, okay? You are getting a better understanding of your spiritual lesson, your purpose in their life. For many of you, maybe your purpose was to awaken them to their spirituality. If this person is from a different background, faith, religion, maybe your job was to awaken them to the confinements of that. Because it's like this person was wearing a mask, um, bound to conforming to a certain way of living or being that was almost strangling their authenticity. You may have woken, awoken that in them. Yeah, with the page of cups, I feel that this person hid from you love. They may have hid from you wanting to apologize for rejecting you, that they regret it because their back is towards you. So they're not ready this week to offer a token of love or to offer an apology. They may still be contemplating and many of you, you're going to pick that up spiritually yourself. But what they have recognized is victory with you. Victory, abundance, happiness. They're beginning to level up their energy to you. You also could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Thank you. Yeah, this person definitely wants to break free from this victim, victim mentality. They want a new beginning. They want a new beginning that is solid, that's balanced, that is authentic. It's like this person doesn't want to wear this mask in their life. But they don't want to wear this mask with you either. This person is discovering their self-worth. But there's a, there's a new beginning. As they break free from that victim mentality, take down that mask. And I feel that that mask is being taken down like within themselves. Yeah, which in turn will then mean that they can be more authentic and transparent with you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does the twin flames? Thank you. Yeah, I told you, look at that, the ten of wands. This person... This mask and this victim mentality that they felt bound to, it doesn't feel that it really was to do with you. This is to do with their background. There's something in their background or in their life that is not very authentic to them. They may have outgrown a way of living, a way of conforming. I don't know, but it was very burdensome to them. I also feel because they didn't really express and be transparent and authentic with what they were thinking and feeling and they just rejected you, um, they felt very burdened by that. They felt bound. They, you know, it's almost like as soon as they rejected you, it was kind of like that was the activation. I feel that they had a lot of regret with that. It really burdens them. And they want that new beginning. It's like they want to break from constraints, beliefs. And as they do that, they feel they're going to come out victorious. And this balancing of the scales, it's like not just balancing things with you by leveling up their energy, but it's also balancing their way of, I almost feel their way of life, their way of how they were brought up. You know, um, it feels as if this person was very restricted. Yeah. The queen of coins, I feel that this is your energy, whether you're male or female. They felt burdened. 
towards you because they hadn't really discovered their self-worth. They are this week, they are definitely being activated and illuminated. Okay. And I feel that they do see you as somebody that's actually very, very spiritual. Um, they recognize that psychic connection between the two of you. They see you as somebody that is balanced, um, grounded, somebody that is ready for long-term commitment marriage. With the Knight of um, Wands, many of you, you may have um, taken action towards this person by giving a lot of your time and energy into that. Your breakthrough right now is that you're being guided to put your time and energy into yourself. And so this week, as you break through and understand your self-worth, you're really unsure whether or not to take action towards this person. I also feel that that Knight of Wands could be uh, this person that you may pick up as they're so much in your energy, you may pick up psychically or through your intuition that they are unsure whether to take action towards you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so with the Five of Swords in reverse, I feel that this person and you, it may have felt that communication was a bit a, a little bit of a battlefield okay now if you are from different backgrounds or particularly maybe even different countries um there could have been a language barrier okay i feel as they come towards you to balance out this connection as they level up their energy to match yours uh, they're coming in um asking you for forgiveness for rejecting you. They're wanting a reunion because they now have a, a deeper understanding. So this Knight of Wands is um, this person being really indecisive <coughs> to come towards you, to balance out, to ask for your forgiveness, to reunite with you. That's why that rejection came out in reverse. But equally, that Knight of Wands could be your energy that you're not sure um, whether to take action towards this person. If that's resonating, I feel if they do come towards you, kind of giving you some sort of sign or synchronicity that they want to reunite. They want your forgiveness. You're being guided. It's safe to trust the situation. You can take action because you've already... Or you may even still be discovering your self-worth. Your self-worth is that you don't need to give so much to the connection now. You can have a balanced viewpoint. But it is safe to trust the situation. Because remember, this person uh, came into your life to teach you something as well. And there is the Ace of Cups. I love this card because the Ace of Cups represents two souls that love each other unconditionally. So no matter what has happened between you and your person, Pisces, in your human selves, on a spiritual soul level, the two of you love each other unconditionally. And it feels as if this person is coming in to ask for your forgiveness, to balance this out because they want a new beginning in love with you. A new beginning because they see victory, abundance, happiness. And then we've got the Ace of Cups on your side. So many of you, you may want to, I feel that you already knew that this person, that you had a soul contract with them. Oh, look at that. Can't even make it up. As I said, you may have already known that you had a soul contract with this person. There's the lover's card, your twin flame. They are now mirroring you. They are now understanding through contemplation. This contemplation is uh, your person. You guys are very, very strongly connected spiritually to this person, 100%. Because it's like this person through contemplation 
what was in the dark they now see and what they see is that you are their twin flame hence coming in wanting forgiveness wanting to have this new start with love with you because the love here is very very unconditional they're contemplating you and the reason I feel that their energy is so much on your side of this reading is because of your intuition. It's because of the intimacy that the two of you have spiritually. You guys are like tight, like I would almost say that the two of you are almost telepathic, like you feel each other's energies. And that is something this person couldn't deny. They couldn't deny that. But they are leveling up to your energy now, almost trusting, trusting the situation with you, understanding their self-worth, having the breakthrough that they can take down that mask and not feel like a victim, put down that burden. Because what the events that happened with you and this person was a spiritual lesson that both of you brought to each other. It's just that Pisces, I feel that you're a little bit ahead of them. Pisces, your energy is coming up here, okay? Um, Pisces, there's a Scorpio in here as well. So Pisces, they could have Pisces in their chart. Either one of you could have Scorpio. Gemini is popping up here and Leo. So any of those signs can be in your chart or their chart. But I feel that this person, you're going to pick up that they are being, uh, they are being revealed that the connection with you is, is, is a twin flame connection with the lover's card. They are definitely being activated. For some of you, just a few of you, it could be you through contemplation that is waking up and being activated to see that this person is your twin flame if you didn't know already but I doubt it I, I feel that you guys already knew it's just taken this person a bit of a while to recognize something that you had already known hence why they're coming in with asking for forgiveness wanting a reunion but really uncertain how you're going to react to it remember the situation with this person is safe all right okay let's have a look and see what your twin flame messages are to each other thank you okay so for your person i've thought a lot about you lately yeah absolutely they have thought a lot about this connection they have thought a lot about the rejection um, and I feel that they are levelling up. Your words linger in my mind. So for many of you, this rejection may have come as a bit of a shock and you may have challenged it. And I feel that um, they may not have known what to respond to that. Hence why they are feeling victimised or were feeling victimised. But they've done a lot of contemplation. Many of you, some of the words that you had said to them when they rejected you may have been out of sheer confusion. And that is the energy that I was picking up that you were giving too much you may have tried to hold on to this person, but I feel in the end, you just let you just let it go. And on that path of letting go, you discovered your self-worth. Yeah, and on your side, it's easier to just stay away right now. I feel that you guys are on a path of focusing on yourself. But I feel that you're being guided that it is safe to trust this situation. So if this person, for some of you, they might reach out this week. But if they do, um, be open, be compassionate. Thank you. And your final card, I got spooked. And do you know something? I feel in a very... In fact, I feel considering these cards have come up and I was picking up that it's this person's energy, it could be that this person got spooked and that is what 
psychically they're going to let you know maybe for some of you it's easier to stay away right now actually might be their energy the another way that i can read it is if this person does come forward just a little bit just a little bit okay with that page of cups just a little token of wanting forgiveness or a reunion Many of you, you may feel that it's easier to stay away and it may spook you. You may end up contemplating, thinking divine spirit will reveal the truth to you because it's a green light from your angels that the answer is yes. Balance out this connection, Pisces. But remember the spiritual lesson that this person brought you. You don't need to, to overly give to a point where things are unbalanced. But you can still give with compassion. You can still love with no expectation because love has no boundaries, right? But many of you may get spooked and it might be easy to just, whoa, stay back a little bit. It's like, whoa, 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 hold on. But for some of you, if you're resonating with picking up this person's energy, that's definitely on your side, in your energy space. Spiritually, they're letting you know they got spooked by the connection and it was easier to stay away. But they are levelling up because they're thinking about you quite heavily. All right, I'm going to leave this for you. Um right now pisces if it does resonate please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye